All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching Mission Impossible 7 um, Dead Reckoning Part 1. So I think we're both pretty excited about this movie. I love the Mission Impossible movie, especially the later ones. I just, I get it. Some people don't like them. They're a little formulaic, mm -hmm. but I just... I have a good time with them either way. Yeah. Saw some of the behind the scenes of this movie, freaking Tom Cruise jumping a motorcycle off of an entire mountain, which is like actually one of the craziest stunts ever done in history. So Sick. that's pretty dope. I'm very excited. And I actually, I am curious, you know, I, I, I would like to see them kind of do maybe some different things with the storyline. I feel like they're always kind of doing like, this system is turning against you and now you're a fugitive. At least we've done that the last kind of few movies. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm curious to see if maybe that dynamic changes. But either way, um, as I was flying, we're going to be up with the Patreon. The next week's reaction to this movie here is going to be up for early access. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, all that being said, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. And let's just get into Mission Impossible 7 uh, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Already love it. No. <laughs> we haven't watched the Mission Impossible movies for a while, so. Yeah, it has been I'm a while. Not gonna, I'm not going to remember everything as far as, like, continuity and stuff like that. Well, we'll see. There's not always a lot of continuity. Yeah, I, I, the know, last few movies, there has been. Look, as long as we get Benji, I'll be happy. As long as we get the whole crew, honestly. Achotamisi. The active learning defense system continues to operate flawlessly. Active learning? It sounds like some AI to me. Yeah. Dead reckoning. And five days from home, completely undetected. Great. The most fearsome killing machine ever devised by man. This is a really interesting... Impossible to find. Start. Mm -hmm. So I feel like normally you find out about these things. We have a submerged contact. I mean, it might be like a, just a small, like, you know. Uh, I'm wondering. Like mini mission for the beginning. Chief of the watch, man Are the you actually impossible to find? Evolution precipice in six minutes. Are we just seeing it from their perspective? That's kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, the last movie we had Ethan Hunt with his wife. Like, that was the cool thing is they brought his wife back. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and then she had to kind of like leave. So I don't know. That was cool. They did kind of bring a lot more continuity back with that kind of cameo. 10,000 meters. Nothing moves that fast. All solutions are matching. Or maybe it's not actually there. Yeah, maybe they're tricking you. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, you so guys are screwed. It's not, it's not actually there. You can see us. Impossible. We're invisible. Weapon. Ground diagnostics on sonar. They already have this technology, bro. He's flooding his torpedo tubes. Oh, no, torpedo tube. I said. Wait, what if this isn't us? It might not be us. Like, what if it's not the IMF or whatever? It might not be. Yeah, it, it could be like, it's true. Enter firing solution is due to it. They might be doing that to find you guys, though. If you fire. He wants an excuse to blow us out of the water. Enemy torpedo in the water. Oh, that, he didn't need an excuse. What is, I want to see this thing. What's in the water? I'm wondering if they're faking it. There's so many things it could be. He's blown through our countermeasures. Have right full rather. Right full. Yeah, like it almost feels like it's not real. Enemy torpedo impacting five. Yeah, bro, it's not real. Impact. Yeah, and what if they wanted to trick them so that they sent out their torpedoes, you know? What just happened? It's gone. It missed us. Yeah, it was too perfect, bro. It vanished. Yeah, it was like, like getting through all their stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What's happening? Sona, where is the enemy vessel? Was there 4,000 meters of our starboard bow? Anything even there? The torpedo is running through. Impact with enemy submarine in. There was no submarine, bro. Bro, you guys have been played. He was never there. The instruments don't lie. They lied to us. Well, today. I don't know if they'll lie, but Shut down it, they can you be tricked. Trick, can't yeah. you? Secure from battle stations. But why? Why would you do that then? Well, to get them to fire, maybe? There's a bug in the system. What? Oh. It's time to go home. Captain! It's gonna hit them with their own. Our torpedo's home in range 400 meters! What? Our torpedo's still close! Wait, did somebody like hack the system? Maybe. Or is it the, the thing itself, you know? Ooh, gosh, that guy got smushed. I like that, that impact though. Yeah, is it the thing itself? But then I'm wondering, like, why would it... Doesn't that put it in danger? You That's know? what you would think. Unless it calculated it right. Jeez. That is not the opening of a Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, it's very interesting. Food delivery? <laughs> this poor Uber Eats driver doesn't know what he's getting into. Yeah, he doesn't know he's in this movie. Bro, he didn't see the, he didn't see the notification Hello? that said leave it at the door. This is why you don't go inside. Doesn't matter. Easy, easy. 
Or is he just one of the uh, agents? India Zulu 254. Bravo Echo 11. Oh, okay. No, not yet. You need to ask me the security question first. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we got a new guy. What is the oath? We live and die in the shadows for those we hold close and for those we never meet. Bro, this is not even the movie. This is just what you have to do to I get on set of Mission Impossible. <laughs> Welcome the IMF. <laughs> you made the right choice. Sir? Good evening, Mr. Hunt. It's been a long time. Interesting, so... 30 years ago, you were offered the choice. 30 years. Join the IMF or spend your life in prison. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a like a suicide squad almost. The death that brought you to us all those years ago. What? The stakes of this mission are higher than ever. Oh, bro, here we go. Your government is searching for a key. What should concern you is the involvement of your friend, Ilsa Faust. Oh, Faust. She killed a courier, I believe he was carrying one half of the key. Your government has put a price on her head. Interesting, mm. so they're working separately of the government? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to acquire the key and deliver it. What happens to Ilsa is up to you. Why were they saying, so they were saying your Good government has put a bounty on her head. Yes, but he's saying that it's it's dead or alive. And so he's basically saying, like, if you want her alive, you got to go find her yourself. Like, this is this is increased incentive. OK, but it's still you're it's still not working with the government, kind of. No, it's kind of doing their own thing. It's interesting. It, it, it I like this feel like a, a, a hint at like a backstory, but also just this feel of like, look, this is like. I feel like he always goes rogue. And so the idea of kind of like, bro, you better not go rogue. Like, we're not screwing around this time. Yeah, uh, this I mean, real. we'll see how that, how long that we'll lasts. We'll see how long but... that lasts. But I like that idea. Dang, that must be a well-trained horse. Just going in on his own, dude. This is really different. And it's interesting how the government's not telling him anything either. I kind of like that, where they're like, no, and you don't have a right to know. Yeah. What is she doing all the way out here? This feels like a, yeah, what the heck? Times 100 binoculars. That was like, uh, Oh no. Oh, of course, bro. Freaking Mother Nature was like, yeah. oh, you want a Mission Impossible movie? Let's make this even more interesting. Oh, bro. Come on, Ethan. <laughs> oh, bro. These movies are like a freaking video game at this point. It's like, okay. what is the coolest map this this game? Actually, dude, I think at this point, Mother Nature is actually on Ethan's side. <laughs> he, he beat <laughs> Mother Nature and now she's working with him. Dude, can you imagine? Could you? That's insane. I don't know how possible that would be with the wind. Yeah. But, <laughs> but that's still cool. I mean, listen, they're super good. Let's just, you know. Ooh. Interesting. This has a very different, like, feel overall. It's almost like John Wick. Are those the bounty hunters? I think so. Oh, why was she just waiting there too? Like maybe to meet somebody or something. This is cool. I, I wonder, is this like practical? I have no idea. Ooh. Oh, oh, you're welcome, buddy. That was the one bounty hunter. Cool. Oh, wait, she got hit? No, no way. Oh, is she faking? She's gotta be. No. So what are we dealing with? Are you serious? This really? entity, like a computer virus used in social media, a little concern to us as it often <gasps> suited our purposes. Well, saying the quiet part out Rich loud here. Saudi Arabia assimilated their learning AI. The entity has since become okay. sentient. Okay. It has penetrated the world and European Central Bank. Holy bro. The way that it's kind of like showing this person coming exactly. through, I wonder. Nothing. Is this somebody working with them? Nothing. Or work with the AI or something like that. Sending a very clear message. I shall return. We're powerless to stop. How does the key tie into this? Like, is this from the submarine? I, I'm assuming it is, right? Because it's they're talking about the AI that the was in the machine. The entire intelligence community. I mean, in the sub the machine. To archive hard copies. Oh, I, you know what I mean? Like, we saw it there, but true. was this AI acting on the machine? Why not air gap our servers? Cut them off from the outside world entirely. We already have. Ooh. Servers require humans to maintain them. Oh, great, bro. This guy's literally doing it. I feel like it let him through or something like that, you know? Blackmail, bribe, or be anyone it wants. An enemy that is everywhere. Great, this movie's gonna send me into an existential crisis. <laughs> and has no center. All right. Who is the? How do we not notice this guy that just walked in the freaking room? Well, maybe we're just not. No way. Just has too much confidence. We're killing this thing. Comes in here. You don't want to kill it. You want to control it. And how do we do that? Mr. Kittredge. 
You can't control, bro, this never works. Two halves of a cruciform key. The Russians believe that it somehow has the power to deactivate our okay, so this Okay, so maybe it thing. is. Yeah. So maybe we have to get to uh, the submarine and deactivate Our closest allies yeah. have willingly whispered one word which would indicate that there's a global race. Oh gosh. We know that a buyer is uh, passing somewhere through the Middle East. The only thing that can authenticate one genuine half. So I forgot what's his name. The other genuine Oh gosh, half bro, this is going to get so complicated. In the hands of this woman, Ilsa Faust. Where is she now? She's uh, dead, sir. No way. Are, are you serious? I sent a man to find her. Does he have it? I don't know that, sir. He's is it? refused to come in. What? Who the hell is this? That's classified. I'm the goddamn director. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You can't know. The IMF, Mr. Kittredge. The World Bank. No, that's the International Monetary. <laughs> the other IMF. What does it stand for? <laughs> Impossible Mission Force. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm afraid he is. I like how we're almost playing this whole thing a lot more seriously yeah. than usual. We more or less leave word. Leave <laughs> word. Mr. Kittredge. Is that the key? What? Is this when there's a mission? None of you the can key? handle. You just leave word for a nameless man and hope he gets the job done. Oh, they always get the job done, Should bro. He I think he just did to accept it. What the hell kind of outfit? It's to choose. <laughs> Created to ensure there would be no unintended consequences. Oh, um, what? Wait, what the heck? Is sleeping? Oh no. Is this? Oh, bro, I freaking knew it. I freaking called it. Uh, what does he do? Would he just kill everybody? No well, way. He probably put him to sleep or something? Did you figure something out? You wanted me to listen. This is me listening. All right. I put the bounty on Ilsa's head. I also told you how to find her. Oh, those were the soldiers then or something. That's the pattern, isn't it? You get her out of trouble and she always found her way back in. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That is kind of true. Is she really dead though? I don't know, bro. We didn't really see. That's ins No. Yeah. Okay. It's me. Okay. But what is she doing? They found somebody, so. Oh, they just torched her. Oh, okay. Everything. You're dead! You stay dead! He's alive! It's my job to use you. Yeah. No one should be trusted with control of the entity. That's true. I mean to kill it. Your days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. This is really interesting. Stay out of my way. The world's gonna be coming after you. Your adjutant was found unconscious <laughs> in his home. Yeah, you guys are so late. Are you able to speak freely? No, thank you. Oh, shoot. Hang up the phone before I count to five. So just how do you plan on getting out of here? It's gonna be you. Oh, bro, <laughs> you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> Credit to the actor, bro. <laughs> I like that it's like, bro, I mean, in a way, the other guy's right. Like, not right, but how should I say? It's like, they're both right. If you're part of a country, you know. And there's this thing that could basically change the world to that degree. I mean, realistically, you're going to be going for it. Of course. But it's interesting. It's it, the idea. First of all, I just want to call out the fact that this movie is a Tom Cruise production. That's what they said, which is kind of oh, epic. Oh, did they? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, it's an interesting question, right? And and like, I know this is maybe like more superhero-y like type fantasy, but they're they're addressing a real issue, which is like, oh, you have this massive weapon has to do with all this kind of like modern technology and it's like well are you going to use it as a country and if you don't use it somebody else is going to use it and then just going into the ideas of like if you control what we understand as the truth American is there the truth for the mm -hmm. like can you fight for right and wrong he is not to be underestimated oh but like a mind reading shape-shifting incarnation of chaos <laughs> I feel like this movie's a lot more self-aware. Well, they also are doing that, the tactic of like, of hyping up the, the kind of like legend of the character, right? But it's cool because it's like, you would do that for an antagonist, not a protagonist. Well, that's, it's actually leaning the other way nowadays, right? Yeah. There's a lot of that more. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> Every government on the planet would kill us just to get that key. Yep. So we're going against everybody. Putting us on an unsanctioned mission, which has gone rogue before it even started. <laughs> Conversation is technically an act of This is a rogue or conversation. Or like call it Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not. Come on. A buyer's coming in. He's hoping to purchase 
That half is the key. This half is the key? What? The only way to authenticate our half. This Geiger counter, the augmented reality overlay in these glasses will lead us to it. Okay. But what if they just oh, that's were kind of dumb and they just really wanted to buy one half of the key? Yeah, we, we don't know that for sure. And they don't have the other half. You're going to sell the buyer our half of you a seat on that plane. So you can follow the key. Yeah, but they gotta know. That's a possibility too. Yeah. The fate of the world depends on finding whatever it unlocks. I mean, there is a high chance that they would know if they're already buying it, I would assume. That's true. But, you know. No, not personally, but it is personal. I do like, I like how um, they're kind of changing up the, the method of not always being on the good guy's perspective. Because mm -hmm. I think that's something that you get a lot in like these Mission Impossible movies. And so almost it like makes it more entertaining to be like, I don't really know how this is going to go down because we always know how it's going to go down. Yeah. And here also, it's kind of interesting because the antagonists are not exactly completely villains, you know, it's like yeah. the world, at least for now. I, I feel like there might be a piece we're missing. Here. Yeah, I feel like there is a villain, but, you know, security alert, suspicious bag on its way to Venice. Nope, it's gone. Must have been a false alarm. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it was a false alarm in a different type of way. Terminal B, gate 15, headed south. Dang, bro. There's gonna be like seven governments after him. You figure that Phineas Freak here is gonna kill the entity while I just hold his soldering iron? Probably. <laughs> Definitely. The trash talk. That's gonna end up happening. Blue suit, right in front of you. My man predicted this. Oh yeah, of course. We're like 10 steps ahead, bro. What the heck? Are we putting like AI over their faces or something? No, I'm not just fucking <laughs> He's checking for the mask. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. Hey, come on, I made not him. Facial comes back with a perfect. Oh, bro, that deep fake technology. How did you do that? No one is safe from Phineas Freak. <laughs> the buyer is Otto von Borg, like 1031. Oh. Oh, did he just pass it to she that just, person? She just grabbed it, bro. I swear she just grabbed it. The woman picked his pocket. Tiger. Oh, she picked it? Yeah, but now it's like... Well, because there's so many people going on, bro. Luther Mutar comes. That bag was on its way to flight 1031. Oh, so... It to Venice. It's the buyer's plane. What if somebody is trying to smuggle a bomb? To say no? What's happening? Should we board it? No. Guys, guys. It's too risky, yeah. Find that bag. I'll direct you. Go. Hey, sir. Just tell me. Yeah, communicate, communicate. It's under control. Mm. Got her. This is like, it's impossible to do this, bro. She's no spy. She's a thief. But there's no way she's just a random thief that stole this incredibly valuable key. Um, yeah, I mean, she might she's just be- She's hired. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's going to have different methods. Every government's going to have different methods, but they all want the same thing. Heading towards the northwest corner of the facility. And also, how Go much control that. does the AI have? You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Oh, that was smooth, bro. Hi. <laughs> Hello. What? You thought I was someone else. I'm not interested. Give me a chance. I'll scream. Please do. What do you want? This key. It's worthless. Without this key. But together, they're worth four million in cryptocurrency. Only four million? I need the man you stole this from to complete a transaction and leave this airport with both of these without ever knowing his pocket was paid. Bro, that's not the other key. It's not. It doesn't have the, it doesn't have the red bit on it. You expect me to put it back? Oh, I know you will. You're a thief. You want the money, and I can give it to you. Nah. Your choice. You're in or you're out. All right, so what's the play? I don't trust this. I don't I, trust this woman you're, you're at sure? all. I won't be needing this. I don't smoke. Keep it. Something to remember me by. <laughs> Ethan, the alloy in that key she took off the buyer doesn't match. Yeah. It's counterfeit. I expect nothing less. Hope that doesn't change our objective. Benji, head down the stairs okay. in front of you. Dang, Luther, I hope you, you can do this. I'm there. I'm really curious to see if this bag is actually something or not. Because if it isn't, then I feel like the AI... It's not, bro. So what do I call you? How about Grace? Your name is definitely not Grace. If I tell you to run, you run. Run? This is getting exciting. That's uh, Captain America's girlfriend, the actress. Oh. Haley Atwell, I think. Oh, yeah, be careful. There's a cylindrical device. I'm going to take it out. What? Oh, that looks like a bomb. The buyer's in the waiting area. The location is going to be crawling with agents. I feel like we should have worn a mask. I feel like we should have worn a mask too. Who's this? This is the guy that dropped off the bag. Oh. Whatever it is, I've just activated nice. it. I like how nervous he is though. Looks like we have five minutes. 
Oh, oh. that looks freaking <laughs> nuclear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Big enough to matter to everybody in this airport. Yeah, because it's nuclear. I haven't got any tools. Then find some. Well, where are we going to find... Some people are going to be missing their luggage. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be welcome when you don't get blown to smithereens. <laughs> not, no. So we're going to, we want to sneak back the, the counterfeit and the real. No, not the real key. Just the counterfeit, right? I think so. And then sell him the other key. Sell him the other key. And then and he's going to give you the money. Goes. I got it. Uh, it. It's a cylinder cipher. Oh, frick. This is the mini game I always fail. 1.5 billion possible combinations. Give or take. Oh, my God. Start guessing. <laughs> the wheels, they spell out a message. You are done. Not yet, we are. No, no, they're not D O N E. Like D U N N. E it's my last name. What? It knows who I am. What? Oh, gosh. This is so. Oh, Hold on, there's a oh it's freaking AI. I speak without a mask. It's a riddle. An, an echo. Are you afraid of death? That's not a riddle. What kind of riddle is that? That's not a riddle. The Bilbo over here? It's a psychometric test. <gasps> Are you afraid of death? No. <laughs> oh, it is. I lied. It knows. Just tell it the truth. No, don't give it more if. Yes! Who isn't? Yeah, but then what do you do? Oh, gosh, bro. What's always approaching, but never arrives. There he is. There's, there's, too easy. there's way too many people. Yeah. And, and, and people countries. Involved. And, and uh, we're so. And then the freaking AI's never here. Arrives. What is always approaching, but never arrives? Tomorrow. <laughs> She's like saving our lives. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, next Whoa, what's up? Give me the good Four? I'll be watching. Why, you don't trust me? So what is happening? Oh, uh, nothing to worry Dude, about. Dude, we didn't even tell him about any of this. Yeah. Who or what is the most important thing to you? Say it. My friends. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> so sweet. Is he dead? Oh. He's dead. Yes. yes. Give me the money, give me the key. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's all the agents. <laughs> what do we do? How am I supposed to give answers since I've got no questions? That must be your final test. What? Oh my god. We have a bigger problem, Ethan. It's very possible no one is getting out of here. Why are Why you did... telling him that now? A nuclear bomb. The question I asked you is part of the code for disarmament. Stop, stop, stop. Why didn't you tell me this? Well, you had a lot going on. We didn't want to bother you. Listen to me. A nuclear bomb is something you bother me with. <laughs> yeah, duh. Why do we always end up in these situations? <laughs> Ten seconds. Oh, 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 oh. Good luck. Oh, oh. There's nothing in it, bro. Oh my god. Dude, what is it? playing with them. It's empty. Oh, I knew it. Oh, we're so freaking Dang screwed. It. We should take the key. Which oh, key? we're Our so key. screwed. Loser finder. I got it. I wonder who she like with kind of. Who is Is that like What? Okay. Oh, what is it? Benji. That was the person that they showed in the flashback that like killed the person I'm assuming get out now And we don't know anything about that. That's all like new backstory, but the thing is is that oh what? It's not right there. Bro, I do like it though because like if there were like all the countries in the world going after them stuff like this would be happening Yeah, it'd be a little crazy uh, What was that lock? What is that? Do we have a rendezvous point? Probably somewhere else, yeah, but he was supposed to get on that other plane, right? Or the... <laughs> it feels like these guys <laughs> are so far behind. along the roof. It's gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> God, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. This is made for Tom Cruise to run on. Are you a reader? Writer? Maybe a little bit of both. Well... Over the last year, I have become obsessed with reading, writing, and storytelling as a whole. And in an effort to nurture the creative energy of all of you in the white noise community, we launched something called the Storytellers Guild. It's a book club and a writer's group all in one. An online community created for every kind of storyteller. By signing up, you'll have access to a closed online community to be able to share ideas, critique other people's work. There'll be book reviews, writing streams, and once a month, you have the opportunity to submit your very own short story to be chosen and turned into an audiobook publication. 
So, if you've been thinking about writing for years, or maybe you have been writing for years, hey, maybe you even just like book reviews. Well, if you do, check out the link in the description and sign up to the Storytellers Guild now. Shortwave radio, magnetic audio recording, cathode. <laughs> I got an old. It's a fully analog <laughs> offline Wait, that's safe room. sick though, because that's so like spy movie. Where's this feed coming from? Corona spy satellite from the Cold War. Wait, this is cool. I had no idea we were still using those things. Yeah, well, we weren't. Yeah. Will this thing help us find your nameless IMF man? Nothing can do that, sir. <laughs> Has allowed us to keep tabs on this woman. Okay. Who is she? Where is she now? So yeah. she stole both half of the key, you right? Are here. But one of them know. is counterfeit. Yes, she only has one half. Multiple passports in her position. Which one of these women is you? I've never seen this before in my life. Oh, nice try. Your picture is in everyone. May I see? Please. Oh, she wanted the paperclip, bro. Yeah. Yes, it's an amazing likeness. As I keep telling you, I'm a, I'm a school teacher. I'm trying to figure out if, she, a sabbatical. if she's just a thief. Or is there something else? There's got to be something else. Now, she's not, she does seem like she's just has kind of like sleight of hand, but. Her lawyer is here. My lawyer. <laughs> Don't. The heck? Just be like, yes, my lawyer. You always say, yes, my lawyer. Wait, who is she? She killed the other guy. I think she said something in French. Interpol. She left Abu Dhabi with a certain key. It was an unusual sign. Who is Yes. One that you could mistake for a pendant. You'd be tempted to hang on a chain around Amelia's neck. What? Amelia. Your wife, mother of your lovely daughter, Serena. Is he somehow related to the AI? No, I mean, yeah, is he like... I am if I wish to be. Is is like the AI... Is this like... Anything. Is he the AI's puppet everything. almost? Yeah. I know this wouldn't be the first time you've helped yourself to stolen goods. Yeah, he is, dude. He's like the walking puppet of the AI. He has to be, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Your secretary is no longer with us. Hello again. <laughs> Grazie, gente. <laughs> the glasses. Potete aspettare fuori. Grazie. Comments? Convincing Italian? I don't know. He learned all of Italian and became fluent just so that he could say that line. Yeah. <laughs> you did this. I called the police. I didn't tell them about your colorful past. That's on you. You put pocketed that key on another passenger. Oh. Someone out there hasn't the slightest clue they're holding onto that key for you. Yeah. An orphan growing up in poverty left you longing for the finer things, other people's things. <laughs> you can't blame a girl for trying to make a dishonest living. <laughs> you had no idea what you were stealing. Otherwise, you never would have stolen it. Is that really true? There's no way she just randomly day. stole it. There's a chance. I have a better idea. But I feel like no. Tell me everything. Now start with who hired you. Yeah. And don't lie to me, because I'll know. Contact with the client was almost entirely electronic. Oh. Almost. It was a, a dead drop, an envelope. What was in the envelope? A uh, ticket to Abu Dhabi. Dude, it could be it the could AI. It could have been the AI that did that. A picture of you. What? My instructions were to follow It has the to be the AI then, because the AI is the one that would probably know most about him. And you were instructed to deliver it to... Venice, party of Ducali Palace, tomorrow, midnight. It's gotta be the AI. Yeah. AI is playing everybody. Because he's so like secretive with his identity and stuff like that. Saw them in the hallway a few minutes ago. You could have said something sooner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like imagining this guy's just gonna be chasing him the whole movie and never yeah, catch him. It's kind of funny. Like these guys are just like, dang, man. These, <laughs> they don't try to catch him. <gasps> no grace, grace. Wait, that's so smart. Dang it. <laughs> oh, shoot. So she actually oh. doesn't really know, it seems. But she was definitely higher. That's yeah. 100%. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's what you guys get for not watching your stuff. Yeah, she does. She seems really well-meaning, which is interesting. Yeah, she just seems like a, you know, thief. A, an honest thief. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she would blame someone else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I mean, she chose the most distinct car ever, and she, there's no way she can outdrive him. Grace, pull over. Listen, I'm trying to help you. Grace. <laughs> oh. oh. 
Oh. On the it was her. Oh, dang. Oh. Turn off. Put the false. I'm back, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nobody's gonna. Nobody's gonna believe that you're just okay. So. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Okay. Put. It's over. Oh. Let the girl go. Put the bracelets on. I'm not gonna shoot you. They will. Yeah. Well. well I, oh, I guess the yeah the the SWAT will. But you better hope that the other guys don't show up. Oh yeah, they're. Get rid of those women. Shoot. They're gonna go against each other, maybe. Let her go and put them on. Because they don't know. Yeah, they don't know anything. It's okay. I'm done now. It's, oh, gosh, bro. Oh, shoot. Oh. Get down, bro. I kind of like this guy. I don't want him to die. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Oh. <laughs> You're driving. What? Bro, I love I love that he didn't even think to do it. Oh, why did you have to? It's always the beautiful BMWs. Go, 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 go. This is sick. Now she got the armored vehicle now. Oh yeah. <laughs> this looks real, bro. Like it they're really be. in that freaking car. It's insane. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, Tom Cruise always. I know, but it's cool. Like someone else is doing too. You know what I mean? Like. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Of course. Of course. And even harder than than being scared is acting scared and then driving competently. Yeah. Well. Oh, or not. Wait. Wait. I'm done. I'm not doing this. You can't. People are chasing. Us. Yeah. You yes. have no choice. You're driving now. Come on. Okay. Okay. How? Oh, with his other hand. Yeah. 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 With his right hand. Oh, great, dude. Yeah, she took it to another level. Who is that person? No, we don't know. I have no idea. You okay? I will be when this is over. Yeah, I feel like so that's not the time never. to ask. Oh, man. What's a sick shot? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh, who is this? Oh, my <laughs> gosh, bro. The freaking CIA or whatever. It's crazy how much is drifting, but I feel like that's what would happen on the cobblestone too. Yeah, and also like the way you drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's hurry. We're just super in love. What are we doing? Finding us a new car. That's that new app. I mean, the spy app. <laughs> Dang it. Bro, it blends, okay? Trust me, it blends. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's got some turbo. Dang. Bro, this is how it be when you're in a new car, though. Three of those buttons were for the wipers. <laughs> oh, it's like super fast. What the heck? It's like a sleeper. Hey, look, I'm, I'm sorry. This is... It's okay. No, this car, the way they... No. Are you serious? Uh, that's unfortunate that she had the, uh, the calm. It's kind of cool that they have like a turbocharged little Fiat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he must have said that like 20 times yeah, in his own head. Yeah. I actually kind of feel bad for him. I do. <laughs> Dude, there are too many people to lose. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. All right. I mean, at least we got that going for us. It is. We're more maneuverable. Go to like alleyways and stuff that they can't follow you through. Oh, we got to go down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> that must be a rough ride. Talk about a rough ride, bro. <laughs> she probably has it easier, though. Freaking, this thing probably That's has true. no shock absorbers. <laughs> There's like, a freaking stroller. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Whoa. No. Roll, roll. <laughs> Just roll. Just go. Is that the Remy Fountain? Wait, what? How did that even? No, no, no. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, she has no respect for history either. Now we know she's evil. She just presses the gas and just, that's it. Wait, that's kind of sick. You're, you're too rough with it. <laughs> We're on fire. Hang on. She thinks they're like showing they're, they're off. They're flexing on you. No, she's going for another donut. <laughs> no, oh, freaking. Oh no. Look, the AI can't predict us if we're unpredictable. Oh, how did they know we were gonna be here? The Italians are like, we gotta be, we gotta get it this time. Okay. Holy. She can't make that turn. Okay. <laughs> That's a <our> person. <laughs> Anyone who's oh. ever taught their child how to drive, is this how it is? What are you? Okay. What do we do now? Can this Fiat fly? Like, oh, there's a little area. It's tunnels. <laughs> Let's go. Dang, bro. Holy! Yeah. Right in there. She's gonna hit him because she's ticked. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are like, man. Where are we going? Well, can we slow down so we don't like fall off a- She's on the gas. Yeah. Oh, of course. It's the subway. Look, there's nothing like a car chase and some handcuffs to bond you. What? Oh, she got out. Did she still have the paperclip? Don't hate me. Crash! <laughs> I mean. Uh. Hurry. Uh. I half expect the the blonde girl to be behind the train. I wouldn't even you be know? surprised. Or She's the conductor. To be in the train, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like all crazy. Like it's super villain. Oh gosh. Ooh. How Barely. The I just ripped the wheel off. <laughs> I like how he's able to do everything but to get the the paperclip thing to work. <laughs> oh, hey, that's that's a faster way. Oh, is these our guys? Ethan. Ethan. Where were you the yeah, rest of the we day, Chase? Need you guys. Come on. Wait. Okay. So who has the keys right now? I have no idea. The remember. random guy. The random guy. Oh yeah, the plane. random guy. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, she came back. Okay, I'm down for some more assistance. Let's go. I mean, to me, honestly, the biggest issue is that the AI seems to be able to stretch its hands like All right, we know yeah, in our one area. And, and I'm not going to forget about the whole Benji thing. Like it knows about Benji. Yeah. The event is being hosted by none other than Alana Mitsopoulos. Oh, that's cool. The white is that the, yeah, the she's one from the movie, yeah. Does she still think you're the globally notorious mass murderer, John Locke? Who says I'm not? <laughs> Didn't she put a price on your head? She and Ethan worked it out. Never did tell me how. Can we continue, please? <laughs> Freaking Ethan and his women. The bomb didn't just walk into the airport by itself, right? Somebody put it there. Somebody working for and who's this entity. guy that, like, looks like the person that got him into IMF in the first place? I've been running facial recognition on everyone in the airport. See anything strange? It's not noticing somebody. It's like a ghost. Ghosts don't have reflections. Ooh, it didn't catch the reflection. It's being erased. Yeah, by, by the AI. Time. That's insane. The entity is protecting him. You saw him. You know him. I wasn't sure. Well, who is he? Why do you say like that was impossible or something? He made me who I am today. He calls himself Gabriel. How what? Oh, wait, what? The entity's chosen messenger. He sees death as a gift. What? How do you know? This is like a superhero. You still almost. have a few friends left in MI6. Oh, so they've been looking into him. Because you disavowed your friends called the Nash. Yeah, they figured they'd tell you. So it's cause... almost like the same thing that's happening on both yeah. sides. You went to the desert to hide, but somehow the bounty hunters found you anyway. Oh. The entity's source code. When were you going to tell me this? I'm telling you now. Did you speak with them face to face? I'm disavowed. Oh, could it be? It could be the entity playing you. Yeah, to try to get the keys, right? Or communication. It's electronic, it's digital. Yeah, you can't trust that. Yeah, we can't trust any of it anymore. But the thing is- We can't be sure that was the entity. Yeah, you can't. You don't know, Gabriel. It's not the killing, it's the suffering. And he knows the best way to get to me. It's through all yeah. of you. What? There's a reason he wants you here. It 
wants you here. How do we outthink this? Who or what is the most important thing to you? You have to go. Ethan, what if it wants us to leave? Like you made us leave. Yeah, it could yeah. be any of, we, we don't know. If you want to beat this thing, you have to start thinking like it. How Cold, logical, unemotional. None of our lives can matter more than this mission. For once, for once he can't like care about his friends. I don't accept that. But like, that's always been the weakness to exploit. Even before yeah, there was it's this AI that's always entity. Been the thought. That's always been Ethan's. I mean, it's because he's a good person. It's always his like play. The problem is, is that the entity, since it's, an, it's basically an algorithm, it will be able to utilize that weakness the most. It's my first time in Venice. How, bro? You, it's crazy. It's mine too. That's gotta be a lie. <laughs> There's like no place that he hasn't been. That's cool. That's a cool moment. Someone's dying, dude. There's too many characters in this. Someone's dying. Stop giving me this moment. It's feeling yeah. very John Wick. We're getting one of these, the flashy uh, party action scenes. Oh gosh. Buy your drink. I'm waiting for someone. That is that someone? I'm Gabriel. If you say so. And your grace. Oh gosh. I don't have it on me. I wouldn't expect you to. She's waiting for the guy. I tell you a little story. It's your story, Grace. I know how it ends. What? Let me buy your drink and perhaps we can change it. Everything is surveilled, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, but can we outplay it? <laughs> These guys. <laughs> They feel like they're unequipped. I like, know, but I, I actually, the fact that they're still kicking butt <laughs> yeah. is, is pretty impressive. They're, somehow they're always around. Yeah. You know? You're not unique. Her name was Marie. And when we're all in over their heads, or so he tells them. What? He doesn't care whether people live or die, only about his objective. It's so funny because it's so not Ethan, almost to a, well, definitely to a fault. Well, not, yeah. Why should I believe you? Nothing anyone says is true. Remember that. And he promises to protect you. Grace. What? It's been a long time, isn't it? If it isn't John Lark. Uh, oh gosh, there's a. <laughs> this is. It's good to see you, Anna. <laughs> and you're Gabriel, I presume. <laughs> and you must be Grace. That's a sick camera shot. I believe you have something for me. You hired me. What? Oh, I have picked you. What? Did she? I kind of hope she did. Possibly. No, she already has the key. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You die. She gave it to him. Yep. She doesn't have it. And where is it? It's in the last place you would ever think to look. Like literally in his pocket. Why don't we go upstairs and have a drink? Hey, hey, do it, <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> like, like no finesse like, at all. He's like, screw yeah. it. We're just going in. I am merely a broker. I just want everyone to get along. Okay, bro. The world is changing. And the key to world domination is, of all things, a <laughs> key. key. One that any government would pay a king's ransom. I like how she's just playing it out. If you do find the key, you'll be forced to confront an impossible dilemma. Mm. Whoever you give the key to will be forever in your debt. But to yeah, the rest but of everyone the world, else, yeah. you will be an enemy. And will the one you give the key to care anyway? What's your relationship with him? <laughs> Gabriel represents another interested party. In fact, the entity this itself. party was arranged by that interested party. Mm. This party is that interested party. Uh oh. It's right behind you, boy. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, I didn't even realize that. It wants everyone here. That's freaky. Is this? And so the plot thickens. <laughs> you have one half of it. And she knows where the other half is. Okay. Assuming you that's, can get it. That's... Why don't you just keep the key and all that power? Because she doesn't know what it unlocks. Yeah, but it's still like unlimited you power. Have to choose a suitor. Yeah, because you have, have the potential. Yeah, power. see, I, I actually think that's still the best way to do it. I'll have both halves tomorrow. The power parsing every possible cause and effect. Every scenario, however implausible. Yeah. The key will come tomorrow on the Orient Express. Someone dies tonight. Who? Hmm? Her. Well, or her. Speaking of choosing suitors, Ethan. The key will be mine, but only after someone you care about dies. It is written. You see what this is, don't you? Is it manipulating them now? He's afraid. 
what? It's afraid. Help him and you'll die too. Help him, everyone dies. Yeah. His fate is written. Shall we write yours too? I like how it's almost like a god. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Because it kind of is almost. Yeah. It, it basically knows the future in a way. But then like the, the terminology of like your fate is written. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, They're playing into it. Yeah. For old time's sake, I'll let you choose which one. <laughs> Ilsa or Grace. Oh, bro. If anything happens, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written. Hmm. You have made a terrible mistake. My life is on the line here. Everyone's life is on the line. Don't move. Run as far as you can. Oh. Oh, Ooh. that was... I do kind of like the idea, though, is that she has to run because she's competent and Grace yeah. isn't. Oh, she just got the key. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, the problem is Grace needs to hold on to that key for herself. Take her hostage. Oh, okay. oh really? Bro, the costumes in this movie are epic. Look at this. This is like Shakespearean. Well, you can thank the entity for going to that party. I know. <laughs> or arranging it. Look, the entity's got style, bro. That's all I can say. Ah. Uh. Oh, dang, the kick to the head. Oh, gosh. We're here, go. Need to find her. Where is she? Damn it. That's OP. Dang. The Russian Zenith Force spy satellite. Scraping the barrel. I want these guys to catch him just so that they get like a bonus on their job. Yeah. This is sick. Not to be too meta, but that's a really cool set design. Like those candles don't need to be there, but them being there makes it look way cooler. Yeah. Oh my God. North, Ethan, she's crossing the bridge. Okay. What if that's not, okay. Well, it's satellite. So I'm assuming that, that we're trusting it. Well, the other one was satellite too, you know? Down that narrow alley and turn left. I'm losing picture. Uh, uh, come on, Ethan. She can't be that good at running, like. Well, at least compared to you, yeah. Come on. You're right there. Where is she? Down the narrow alley and turn left. Okay, copy that. No, yeah. what? Ah, oh, shit. Turn right. Ethan, our comms have been breached. You're talking to the entity. Ethan, that is not me. Do you copy? He doesn't hear you. Dude, I was literally thinking that. I was like, they're talking about the whole idea of like, oh, AI, as long as it's digital, it's like whatever. But I was literally thinking about like the AI voices. Yeah. Take that passage. That's why you can't do it. You can't do anything digital. Everything no, has no, to it's be, gotta be all like short. Yeah. Short wave. Short radio. wave. Which way? It doesn't matter. Where is she? Minute bridge. Gabriel is waiting. You will never get there in time. Oh, wait. But you can, Elsa. <sighs> I know what matters most to you. This is a bitch. No, but you are dumb. Oh. Oh, great. So be it. What? I don't think she's good enough to beat him. Ooh, that was sick. Dang. Ooh, dang, the choreography. Ooh. I really like this action set piece. It feels yeah. like something from the East, honestly. Yeah. It feels like it's... something in the raid or something you would see. Oh, my man hasn't even unbuttoned his suit jacket. Dang. Ooh. Come on, bro. Come on. Ooh. Bro, the brutality of the hits. It's insane. I like how he's still sticking to his... It's almost like he he's trying to hold on to his like moral, moral code. Like yeah, that. like yeah. even though AI is going to change that. Yeah. Because of how logical it is. Come on, bro. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> dude. I feel like, yeah. I was hoping if he had... The freaking sword. Come on, Ilsa. He's not better than you. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh, she's going to die, dude. Yeah. She's going to die. Go, go, go. Ooh. Shoot. That's right through the heart. Dang, 
bro. And the fact that she died, like, trying to help him save the other girl. Yeah. That's rough. <sighs> Jeez. Now, I will say, why didn't he want to take the key right then? Are you close? You and she? Yeah. In our way. I'm the reason she's dead. No, she's the reason you're alive. <laughs> yeah, freaking Luther. If there's anything I can do to help. Why is waiting to take receipt of the complete key? But she doesn't have the complete key. But she has the one half. But as could. Three options. Prison, death, or the choice. The choice. To at least try. Each of us was offered the choice. Which is? To come with us. Yeah, to help us. And be a ghost. <laughs> It's so freaky, bro. That is. The effects, man. I will always, I will always be in wonder how they do these shots. Yeah, but we're playing into the entity's hands. Yeah, Because maybe. we're bringing their key. I mean, but like that is the most Mission Impossible move ever. Oh, 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 oh okay. Or this is Ethan, maybe? Stop. Oh shoot, oh, I was like, dang. I was gonna say, I we kind of like, skipped Whoa. over a lot of... You did say you'd do anything to help. And you jump off the train with the key. Hey, listen. You, not us. Yes. Oh. Shortly thereafter, a man will come to see you. Eugene Kittredge. Kittredge? You tell him I sent you, that I gave you the choice, and that you choose to accept. It's a lot of trust. And uh, you trust this. Yeah, and, and can trust. we trust Kittredge, right? Actually, more importantly. I trust him to recognize your value. I want to use you. Yeah, that's what she's asking, right? And after that, it's what? This? No, she probably comes after us, actually. When do I get my life back? What life? I mean it, Grace. What life? That's true. Dang, he hit you with that bar. No, but like truly, like she was already living this life before. We're here because we want to be. I tell you what, I'll give you a one-off. <laughs> New name, a little bit of walking around money. You'll be dead. But if I stay, I'll be safe. Yeah. You'll protect me. Yes. No, I can't promise you that. Yeah, because it's the same thing that's happening again, you know? None of us can. And he saw the results. But I swear, your life will always matter more to me than my own. <sighs> and that's that's all you can ask. Come on. You don't even know me. What difference does that make? <laughs> I packed you a base parachute and a speed wing. Oh, awesome. Skywave radio, completely analog, immune to the entity. Oh, good, because we need right. some of that. This is where I leave you. I have to work completely offline. Okay. I have to go. Yeah, 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 that's, I mean, that makes sense. Now, what's your objective? Kill the entity. What about killing Gabriel? Hmm. He knows what the key unlocks. We need him alive. I haven't forgotten that. Don't. Will you still remember when you're looking him in the eye? Why else would the entity want him to kill someone that you, you care about? Cared about? Yeah. It sees you winning, Ethan. And it's afraid. And that's why it's targeting you it's afraid specifically. Of you but that means you have to be wary of that. And forcing him to tell you what the key unlocks. Which is why it's trying to make him even more of a bad guy. Counting on one of two probable outcomes. You die. In another, you kill Gabriel. In both cases, he wins. The entity wins. Yeah. I think you're right. Do not alter the plan. Ethan! What? What? What happened? It's dead. What's dead? I managed to make a, a widow mask for Grace, but then it just shorted out in the middle of making yours. Did it find out somehow? If I had a week, I couldn't fix it. The widow's train leaves in an hour. How? It just happened? You have to go without. They're going to be looking for Ethan and Grace. That mask was his ticket onto the train. Bro, we got to go old school. Give him a freaking mustache or something. Yeah. Grace has to go without me. What? I what? You'll find another way to get me on that train. Oh, no. You get the widow's half of the key. You verify it. And we're going to trust her? We still have to to meet with the buyer, get him to tell us what the key unlocks. How? Figure it out. Well, figure it out. Just get the key and wait. I'll come for you. I mean, listen, she has the skills, but. If Grace is getting on that train, she needs to put that mask on and leave right now. Come on. Promise me you'll be on that train. Come on. I will be there. No matter what. I feel like the no matter what is a big no matter what. Bro, it's a no matter <laughs> what from Tom freaking Cruise, okay? That's as sure of a human promise as you could get. I'm just saying. It's about to be some craziness before they can get on that train. Price isn't getting out of Venice without all knowing it. Are these the real people? I think so. Oh, dang. Pretty sure they built this train for the movie. You kind of deserved it for falling for that, bro. Guys are simple like that. I, look, after any spy movie at this point, it's like that. Does it make sense? Then don't. No. 
What the heck? Is it like brainwashing him or something? You know, like, I don't know. What the heck was that? It was definitely the entity. Yeah, I heard the noise and it had it on the eye. Great. Do we know what we're getting into here? The train is on schedule and you're a few minutes early, so we have plenty of time. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking Holy. control. Can you imagine being like a- I know. That poor guy. They're like, what? Uh-oh. Starting to throw the, the extra spicy coals on that <laughs> furnace there. Oh, gosh. Yep. Now what? All of our calculations are off. Okay, you did not try. We ain't gonna make it. Dang. Does it look like it's slowing down? <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a bumpy ride. What if he had a good reason? Who? Hunt. What if he had a good reason for going rogue? He always goes rogue. <laughs> Him and his merry pack. <laughs> That's all they do. What would you do with that key? Hand it over to my superiors. You wouldn't hesitate. That's too much power. I wouldn't want the responsibility of it. Yeah, it's like, how am I going to use it anyways? Like, I don't want anyone to target me. And maybe that's <laughs> what hunters think. Bro, I love this. Who's side you're on, they got? When it comes to the end of the world. Does it matter? Everybody, I guess. I'm on the side that doesn't want to let the world end. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Which, frankly, giving it over to any government authority doesn't guarantee that, you but... the train! Okay. It just takes over the car. All the tech. Yeah, it just takes over the car and kills you instantly. I mean, hey, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. That AI might <laughs> be able just to control anything. Off. It's like, dude, I don't like how I've been under your control. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is her. That's perfect. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, but now how is Ethan getting on this train? What? She said, don't disturb. Okay. So it's good. Uh, I thought that was her already because she said, don't disturb. And it seems sus. That's true. Yeah. We didn't see it yet, though. Where are you? Put it on oh. first. Oh. Everything all right? Just, you're, you're, Answer. Yeah, you're in costume. Alana. Okay. You've changed. And you never will. What? I mean, it sounds like something she would say. So. It is. It, it, he's like, what the? Was that flirting? What's happening? We still didn't put them together. I don't trust this till I know. You're not Alana Matsopoulos. What? Well, the Alana I remember was yay high drinking hot chocolate in the Tuileries garden. Oh, 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 oh. Paris. There you go. Play it up, play it up, play it up, play it up, play it up. Show me. Wait, but Kittredge is meeting her way earlier than we thought. Talk to me, Benji. I don't just even know what's happening anymore. Because the they're supposed to take her into custody afterwards, right? I'm uh, grudgingly ready to accept your terms. Oh, shoot. My terms have changed. What? The Empire has been allowed to continue on the condition that it primarily serves our common interests. This is news to me. Yeah. I'm going to need something more from you in advance for me. What? This is me listening. Zola, would you mind waiting for me in the bar? Is that how she's going to uh, tell him? This one. I'm going to need you to protect her. What? From whom? From everyone. What is the play here? Including well, she's me. guaranteeing her own and no one safety, can know. you know? Not even Zola. That's... I won't even remember this conversation. That's a smart play. It is a smart play, but you'd think you'd be suspicious. It would be kind of suspicious. And she is getting up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what? You must be the one they call Paris. Oh. Ooh. So what's his name? We have been so outplayed, I don't even know who's playing who anymore at this point. If anything happens to me, that key is worthless. You definitely need to go faster. Bro, he's sending him up a freaking- When do I start going <laughs> downhill? Won't be long. Oh no. <laughs> Thanks. I see where we're going. We were able to transmit an early copy of the AI to Russia's newest submarine. Oh, it's theirs. They called her the Sebastopol. The it's theirs. It's sabotaged. ours, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck? The AI went rogue and uh, over-delivered. The AI took control of the stealth capabilities of that sub. The two halves of the key mysteriously vanished. The Sevastopol was lost. And so it left. What? I know precisely where it is. I'm the only man on earth who does. Let's lay all our cards on the table, shall we? <laughs> 
We both know the secret is buried deep in the Sebastopol's memory. Okay. Why not form an alliance? An alliance. But it'll just take over again. Individuals with outdated ideas of patriotism well, need to be. Well, they're saying they can, they can control removed. it, right? With that thing inside the uh, Sebastopol. You wish to form an axis and create a new super state. <laughs> Jeez. And you're certain that you're the only person on earth who knows. He's gonna kill you, bro. Is. You're dead. Yeah. The only one. He's going to kill you because now he's sure he won't be found. Nobody wants to find the Sevastopol. This thing can keep going if nobody finds it. Yes, it wants to live. Oh. I'll add immunity and a new identity for Gosh, this. this is, we're screwed. Enter your banking details. Banking is all digital. All this is digital. Yeah, but she doesn't even know, right? Oh, well, she can send in her own, I guess. Do you know your own banking details? Yeah, that's the real freaking, question. I don't know my account number by heart. Are we done? Verify, verify, verify. One of those could be the dummy, right? This key is gonna change the world. Yeah, that key's going over to the entity. Huh? But it also doesn't matter. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Whoa, whoa. whoa. There's yes, you guys. Holy, that's Must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Are you no, real? no, that's it. <laughs> How can this be it? Well, you can see the train, right? Yeah, but I see the train. What about it? And you have a parachute. He's got a shoot? What do you he expect does. me to do? Well, just shoot. You know. Jump. Okay. Jump? I like yeah. how Benji's challenging him to do the mission now. I don't know if I can make it across the valley and do you copy? Yes! <laughs> Pull yourself together because I am under a lot of pressure right now. You tell him, Benji. I mean, it's true. I gotta get away from this mountain. Look at the, the slope. Come on. Come on. So go fast. Get some height. Or get some distance. So epic. <laughs> this is gonna add a whole nother... Aren't we supposed to get it from him though somehow? Come on. Now this is not real, I don't think. Like they CG'd the ramp. Gotcha. So the ramp is just like a normal ramp? Yeah. All right, bro, come on. Come on. Holy bro. <laughs> That's insane. Now, but can he hit the train? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Except, 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 hit it. Really? Are you going to? Yeah. I just had the strangest feeling. The key wasn't the only thing I'd be selling. Yeah. I don't understand. I'll sleep better just knowing that's in the right hands. What? Goodbye, Mr. Kittredge. It was a pleasure to see you again. And you. She's gonna take it back. Keep him safe. Alana. Don't worry about me, Zola. <laughs> He's like, why are you acting so weird? Oh no. <laughs> Alana? Who the hell else? She's got the key. <sighs> the other one! <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Oh, that's sick. Watch out, watch out. It's freaking here. No, what is this? that's not gonna work because it stopped. <gasps> Emergency. How is she gonna get off? She doesn't have a parachute or anything. Well, that was her plan to get off right there. But uh, the guy knew it. So he put that guy on the on the emergency thing. I see the train! Dude, come I on. I think I'm gonna make it! Hurry! The key. Don't. The key! Just don't give it to him. Well, the next one has your name on it. Yeah, but then she might die. On the table. Why doesn't he just shoot her? He could just throw it out. Kill her. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Bro. What, what? Take off the shoot. Take off the shoot. Grace. Grace. Get the dang key. Oh no. Okay. It, it somehow helped us. I told you the weather was. Or you said the weather was helping him. <laughs> Are you okay? Mother nature is on Ethan's side. Are you okay? No. How Guys. could you not love this man? He freaking smashed into a train and saved you. Okay, we really need to get out of here, please. The key. Yeah. Tell me you have the key. Wait, no. We just had it right now. It was. It was just here. You're like sitting on it or something. 
on. Are you serious? Of course, guys. How? How did it just land there? How, How did, did it, it just fly over there? Fly go across the room. We're on a runaway train. I know. I'm going after him. Yeah, he has to have a plan to get You're off too. What did he oh. do? Jump right. off? I guess so. Or he's on the roof. Yeah, he's got to be on the roof. He has to have a plan, too, because you know they set this up. Do you think Ethan Hunt even has adrenaline anymore? Like, I think he always has adrenaline. He's just waiting for us on the train? Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, he has a plan to just get off. We could beat this guy in a fight, bro. Come on, he's not that good. Ooh. Don't. Don't do that. She's got to go on top. That's so dangerous, though. Ooh. Shit. Ethan, be careful. Ooh. Gosh, 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 gosh. Come on, guys. Help out for once in the right way. Mr. Kittredge. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing here? I'm not here. <laughs> Unless you want to be sorting dead letters, you'll do exactly what I tell you. What? It's telling him to go after uh, the key. Oh, here we go, bro. The hair's tied up now. Oh my gosh. Holy. That's a little dangerous. Hopefully she doesn't get hit by one of those things. No! Jump. Just keep your head down. Don't look at each other. Keep your head down. Oh my gosh. I hate this. Oh crap. Dang. Careful. Whoa. Oh my gosh! At least he doesn't know where we are now. Oh shoot, how did he know? This guy's a superhero. What? You're gonna... Can we get out of this tunnel, please? This is so cool. Whoa. Oh dang, he's like climbing with the knives. Remember, we can't kill him. Dude. I know, but she had locks, Ethan. I'm the only one who knows. You can't kill him. You can't kill him. You can't. Remember? Come on. Remember what he said. What? Oh my gosh. What? No. No. What? Dude. No. Don't you do it. Drop the knife. Dude, come on. I said drop it. We're taking too much time because of this now. Get the dang key. Dude. Just take him. Oh no. He's the one you I knew Get it, bro. He's gonna jump or something. Yeah. Are you serious? He has the dang key! You shouldn't have been trying to kill him. Everyone on this train is gonna die unless you do exactly as I said. <laughs> it's like on his watch. Yeah, and it's like everything is so timed. Oh gosh. Great. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> and I like how his partner's always trying to trying to do it the subtle way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the other guy's just like as American as it gets. He's like, I've had enough. I gotta stop it. Yeah, because he freaking destroyed all the all the things, like the break and stuff like that. So now what? No one can. Come on. Except what? for you, bro. There's it's okay. It's my fault. It's what? Yeah. What? 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 We got it. How? He pickpocketed? He pickpocketed him? Wait, what the frick? Oh, huge. Wait, how? Is that why he pretended to kill him? Yeah, maybe he was doing it during he, like, that time. He in? That's huge. Back in the train. What's going on? Since you're not really here, sir. Yeah. It shouldn't concern you. <laughs> all the way to the back. He played you. I feel like they're going to be on Ethan's side now after all that. I hope so. I like them. Yeah, because like, is this all real? Look at this, dude. All right, we gotta we gotta separate it. From oh, we're gonna the engine. separate. I'm it. assuming that's that that would be my thought. I don't really know how. Yeah, but the momentum, right? Holy frick! How are we gonna? Do you have the? But that's the start. Oh, hurry, maybe it doesn't matter. Hurry, 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 hurry. We're so close. Oh, does it? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, okay. This okay. left arm. Are we gonna have enough time? It's still so close. Oh my gosh, we're... Oh, shoot. That's all real. But that was real? Yeah, they ran a real train off the cliff. 
Uh, are we gonna stop in time? Oh, we're gonna Spider-Man it. Oh, gosh. Everyone get to the back. Well, everyone's on the back. Just run. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, my gosh. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, guys, guys, Keep it's gonna fall. going. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's a little bit close. Why is it still falling? Dang it. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> How is it still going? Oh, my gosh. What is this? This is like the danger kitchen. Why is ah. it still falling? <laughs> the gap. Oh, oh, my gosh. What is happening? And the oil. That's so realistic, though. Holy Just keep. Yeah, that's the least of our worries. Running. Right now. Oh. That was so cool. This is insane. This is not. Can it stop falling? Why is it please? Keep How going? is it still going? <laughs> what? What is what? this? <laughs> Weights in the back. This is like Final Destination. That's not even funny. Why? A literal piano is gonna fall on top of him. Hang on. Yeah, but this piano also got us. So no, we're just gonna let it fall over us. Don't look down. Look at me. I'm gonna jump across, and you're gonna wait here. I like how she was trying to hold on to him. Yeah. Please. Please, you have to let go. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. You gotta let me jump across. Or we're gonna die. Do you trust me? No. You gotta trust me. Go, go, what go. Now you do? jump. Now you jump. Because they have to get oh, out of the way gosh. of the piano. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. Promise. Come on. Come on. Go. Oh, no. She's not gonna be able to do it. Jump, please. She can't do it? Whoa. Why are we cutting this as close as is humanly possible? Stop it. Stop. Stop it. I swear, I think we've been in a similar situation in the train, haven't we? We're gonna pull you up together. I don't think so. Not this movie. Not like this series. I think other series. Uh, oh, gosh. It's okay. It's okay. Hurry, hurry. How? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, he was right. I think he, he also sealed his own fate by turning on her. I don't, I still think it's too much weight. All right. Oh, thank you, Luther. What is that? It's a speed wing. What? Well, she's gonna die anyway. Ethan! Is she gonna tell him? Everyone. <laughs> Jesus, we. Hurry, 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 tell us. Guess go so. The, the, the city supposed to pull Yeah, but the yeah, how is he okay, gonna know? Okay, but that's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But it's still something. It's better Ooh, than uh, nothing, Sevastopol. right? Sevastopol, Sevastopol. Come on, just remember that. Huh? Swallow the submarine. The Sevastopol. Jeez. Dude, she saved the world. Seriously. I'll be coming, Ethan. She did, and I wanna know I wanna know if the AI planned this though. I don't think so. Come on, are you coming with us? No, she's not, you remember? We can only carry one. Yeah, she was supposed to go with, um... I understand. Kittredge. This was the plan. Hunt, go! No, no, hunt! <laughs> this guy's like, dang it! Out of the way! I mean... Got a boss. Stay with me. Is he still gonna help us? That's better, isn't it? I'm not sure. Face to authentic face. Mr. Kittredge, Ethan Hunt. Hunt. Tells me you're a man I can trust. I don't know. I don't know now because the thing kind of switched up. He also said you would offer me a choice. Interesting. I don't I know anymore. I trust accept. him, not Kittredge anymore. I'm not gonna lie. Thank God. Mm, so very uneasy. I'm not confident about any of this. Yeah, because if the AI is really as smart as it. Dang, that landing. Should you fail, the entity wins. Should any members of your team be caught or killed, they'll be disavowed. Their sacrifice will have been in vain. Oh. Hmm. So hurry, there isn't much time. The world doesn't know it. Interesting. But they're counting on you. Okay, I didn't give my man enough credit. <laughs> He's just gonna free swim down there, bro. Yeah. 
That's sick. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. So this is just a part one. What'd you think? That was cool. That was. It that was very different. really good. It was very different, but I think it needed that. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think it needed that switch up because the last few movies, it was that like, oh, he went rogue again. And it was kind of mm-hmm. just like the same thing. And I mean, you know, I, I, I think I didn't even notice if you watch them separately. But when we sat down and watched all of them together, it does stand out. Yeah, it like does. it gets repetitive. And so I think this was the perfect time to switch it up the way they did. Yeah. Like this was the perfect time. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Even though it doesn't have the same vibe as far as like him going rogue he still is kind of doing his own thing but they did it in a way that it doesn't feel overly like it just feels better formulaic bro. and 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 i think they did a good balance of like especially i think some of the the clo- like five felt a lot like this where it was just kind of an excuse for him to go from one stunt to the other which look is it still amazingly cool yeah a thousand percent but this movie felt like they learned kind of the importance of like slowing down Mm -hmm. and it made me appreciate when it went fast a lot more. Um, There were slower moments. There were character moments, even though there were very small character moments, bro, this was a two an hour and 40 minute movie. And I did not feel that time. Yeah. I did. Which is incredibly impressive. I feel it in a two hour movie sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I think they did well with the balance as far as action pacing and like, having some time to kind of like get to know certain characters and get to just like talk about other things like the plot and things like that. Right. Um, I think they had a good overall kind of like general balance of things. I really like Grace. Yeah. I like Grace too. I think she's a really cool addition to the film. And I like um, for once that she isn't like a, like an agent or something like that. She's actually just a thief. Yes. Which makes it more, I don't know. It just makes it more refreshing just because I feel like every everybody's a freaking agent. Yeah, everyone's all doing secret, something. Like, special thing. And the fact that there were a few times there where she didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. You know, what I, mean? I, I just think that's cool. I think it's a different dynamic. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it makes for an interesting character. I think Hollywood nowadays is really scared to do that with a female character. Yes, I agree. And so to even just have her need anyone's help, heaven forbid it be a man like it's it, not that it's like, it's like, okay, like she's fine in her own right, but it's like, it's okay for characters to be weak. Yeah. Heck, I even like they made Ethan screw up this movie. Like, mm-hmm. it's kind of funny that the only way they could have Ethan be outsmarted is by literal, like, perfection Destroy. AI god technology. Yeah. Like, it's literally Ethan versus a demigod. It kind of is. Um, but I still like that, right? It's like, oh, even they're pushing him to a point he hasn't been before. Yeah. That's cool. I, I do appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I really liked their dynamic. I liked that she got afraid and freaked out and was unable to do things in certain moments. And I thought that was cool. Yeah, I think that's very refreshing, especially for a female character uh, yes. nowadays. Because it's it's cool to see that like kind of like more realistic, like, you know, she has um, skills in certain areas, but she's, you know, realistically, you can't blame her afraid of like the craziness that is Mission Impossible, you sure. know, and it, it allows for this different sort of like relationship. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like that they got, they have to kind of like do things differently this time around. Yeah, no, I like that she wasn't perfect at fighting. I, I think this movie does a really good job of that, even with all the characters, even with the, I don't know what her name was, but like the French girl, that her character was very interesting. And I liked yeah. how in her fight, um, they did a really good job of making you feel the weight difference. Mm-hmm. I thought that was cool too. I was really yeah. appreciating that. Like there was a point, they were in the alley and she was like choking him out. And it was like, it was at a disadvantage. And he just kind of like smashed her off of him. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I like that they're like, we're finding this balance of like, oh, let's have these cool, like whatever female like agents and stuff like that. But you're going to actually like try to still try and have it be a little grounded. Yeah. And then also like having an AI be the villain, even though like in other movies, like AI, is, you know, there have been a lot of AI villains. I feel like in and the it's Mission, only going to get worse. Yeah. I feel like in the Mission Impossible series, we, we've always had to dealt with this like big crime like syndicate syndicate yeah, yeah or yeah. like some special it's always a dude syndicate. you know yeah. that we yeah, yeah, figured yeah, yeah. out from our past or so i don't know something strange like that whereas like having it be like non-human is kind of interesting i don't know just the way that they're kind of doing it and the fact that all everyone is kind of like in the scramble you know well and the way they tied it in emotionally which mm-hmm. is cool which is essentially asking the question like it, it it's bringing ethan 
up against this question of like, oh, you know, do you go along with it if you lose the idea of truth? Or do you do what is in theory kind of irrational and fight it anyway because there's something that matters? Yeah, like like the idea that good idea. and evil disappears when you when you include AI and the mm-hmm. fact that that's what Ethan is fighting for. That's a fascinating concept. Yeah, it is um, And very consistent with his character and a really cool way of doing something that could otherwise be very gimmicky. Yeah. And it also enhances the other moments that might seem a little bit like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but like, for example, when he didn't kill the one girl, the French girl, right? Yeah. Like a lot of times you'd be like, oh, come on, like you should do that or whatever. But it enhances those moments because now it's like that is what you're fighting for almost. Like do you keep your morals or you need to become this efficient killing machine? Well, and it's like you are the perfect agent. Mm-hmm. And, and so, like the, 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 the reason we don't have it is because you can never rely on it. But it's like in theory, if there was somebody like Ethan Hunt, it's like, dude, IMF would be like the powerhouse of the world. Like it is incredibly powerful. It's like it's just you can't count on a moral person. Yeah. But having a moral person who is willing to do anything for that is like, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. No, it is. An that's interesting that's the highest concept. resource. It's an interesting uh, concept. It is. And I like that they're finally leaning into it instead of having it be like, will he, won't he? Is he really going to save his like loved one? It's like, of course he is. He always has. And so the idea of almost letting that be what makes him different than every other spy and every other agency and every other government and organization. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. It's a cool subversion. It is. Uh, of the cold heartless spy yeah and i like i that, also uh, oh yeah sorry no that's no, all good go ahead i also just feel like it's been done before by other mm-hmm. franchises so it's like bond does it i've seen it do do what makes you different which is that like almost like moral thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i will say though that i want to see i hope that there's some kind of like big plan as far as like the uh the ai use and that it's not too human you know um well you could go either way with that well, and we'll see. Th- I don't know how philosophical they're going to get. Well, my thought is this, is that if it really is as difficult as they're making it seem to be as far as like finding it or like, you know, dealing with it in general, I feel like it has to be an extremely significant sort of threat in the kind of like predicting process and whatnot. And That's so true. there's. You know, I, I don't want it to be too like, well, why did it do that? That's kind of like, it, you know, you don't want it to seem too like, obviously, humans are coming up with this plot. Right. And it doesn't have to be like the craziest thing ever. But I don't want it to be where it's so obvious where it's like, why yeah. would it do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't because at that sure. point, then it's like, how should I say it lessens everything else? Yeah. Since you're not really dealing with something as crazy efficient as like an ai you know well there's a few things you could do with it so so the one thing that would be interesting and i don't Mm -hmm. know if anybody's going to do this it's the it's this interesting philosophical conversations going on um is the idea of like oh can ai become sentient and to me i'm like there's no way i can okay and so if we were to come at it from this and i have no idea how seriously they're going to take this um but if you were to come at it from this point that would be intriguing to say it is going to act human to a certain extent because it's made by humans and the information it collects is human information. And so it's just copycatting and it can copycat better than anybody. And it has more information than anybody, which still makes it like almost infinitesimally smarter than us. But at the same time, it's not like omnipotent. It's not like this like heartless, mindless thing because it's, it's only source of information is humanity. And if it not- really isn't sentient, then the idea would be that it's like all of it's like, quirks and like mannerisms are only sourced from humans i mean i because guess it's just you could kind of do that but which i think would be cool but you'd have to do it the right yeah way. but something sentient and an ai wouldn't ever just copycat right because that's not what an well that's AI my point does. is so then to challenge the their their reveal would be like is it sentient yeah because but well what i'm saying is that it can be sentient without being human you know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I, I agree. I'm saying it wouldn't be sentient if it was acting human. But but my yeah, point would yeah. be the reveal would be it's not sentient. But it's just copycat. But it wouldn't. My thought is this is that just because it could copycat doesn't mean that it would make. Because what they're saying is like it's an AI that's basically doing all these things. Right. Mm-hmm. And if it has all this information and it is like they were saying, basically calculating 
what is the most probable outcome due mm-hmm. to repetition and history and whatever else. And all these people's personalities and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Then just from a machine's perspective, I would like it to gauge, you know, at least through my eyes as a viewer, I would like to, it, myself to be able to believe that, yes, that was a pretty solid choice. Even though our heroes may find a way around it. Sure, sure, sure. I sure. want to believe that, yeah, that was a pretty, you know, there's a high probability of this happening, but our yeah. heroes were able to kind no, of that like makes sense because, because you're hyping up a villain. It's like, and that's so like, like being like, this guy's a god. And it's like, all right, then he better be freaking powerful. Yeah, at least to a believable extent, yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying, compared to our heroes. Sure. And so like, yeah, there was a few times where I was like, like one of them was having the guy... And remember, this could all be part of a bigger plan or something like that. But having the guy betray the French girl, to me, is a very bad decision. And I'm and I'm not saying that it's I like the worst really decision I didn't really even understand it, to be honest. There because were times where I lost the thread of the plot just because it was so convoluted. I'm wondering if it was like, if they're trying to do this thing where they're like, oh, you're sealing your own fate by trying to prevent it. Because I think the AI, what it was trying to do, well, it, what he said was like, you're going to betray me, right? The French girl is going to betray me because Ethan Hunt saved you. So you're going to tell him, you know, the information essentially. But then he betrayed her, which in turn sealed that out, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm wondering, I want to know exactly kind of like what was going on there. Well, is is that, like, is it almost that freaking Kung Fu Panda idea of like, you know your own fate and so you will seal it? So you prevent it, yeah. You, like, are like you trying he, to prevent like it? Like him telling her he did it so that she, like that is the, the final nail in the coffin that seals that fate. Yeah, but then I'd be like, well, how should I say? Like, That's very human. I mean, like. But we, wouldn't you, my other thought was like, wouldn't you kill her then? That's why he didn't kill her, maybe, because he needs her to betray him somehow. So that's what I'm wondering. Like, is there a bigger, like, what is the AI thinking? Yeah, you know, exactly. or maybe they just missed. I don't know. I don't know. That's I, also, anyway, that's, that's just danger. That, that are, is the danger of doing the AI thing, like you're saying. And having like, a super complex If you're going to bring us there, then a little bit, I'm going to hold you to that standard. A li- like, even though this is a Mission yeah. Impossible movie, like, you brought us there. And so now I'm going to be a little bit like, hey, like, this better be good. Yeah, I want it to be at least a little bit believable. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 I agree. But, but so far, yeah. this is this I mean, is the cool. best it's Mission Impossible movie I've seen in a while. I just, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I really I did enjoyed really the enjoy characters. It. I thought the pacing was better than it's been in a long time. I actually liked, they didn't focus on Ethan as much because we know him and we've seen him and we've seen him kick butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I liked that they showed missions from other people's perspectives. That was really cool. That was really cool. And I liked um, even like some of the side stuff. Like, and Ilsa, bro. Yeah. Them killing her. That was cool. That was a great way for her to go. Yeah, it was it a was badass solid. way to die. It was very solid. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. Um, so, obviously, let us know in the comments down below what you guys thought. Um, as always, Full Length Reaction is going to be up with Patreon. The next week's reaction, this movie here, is going to be up for early access. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And, yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome. Uh, hopefully, you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.